Okay, it took me a while to put that last video online. So now I'm already posting the next one um, because today I improved the prototype a little bit. Um, I started with creating a new scene that's called Sensor and it's basically an area 2D with a collision shape, uh, collision shape rectangle. And for testing purposes, I've got this polygon 2D um, that's just white and the same size as the collision shape. And then I created a script in the player. Um, the player has a new node that's called sensors. And um, when the player is ready, um, there are there's a loop that generates 10 sensors in each direction. Um, so it's 20 sensors because there are 10 in the left direction that are on the floor, 10 in the right direction that are on the floor, uh, 10 in the left direction that are in the height of the player, and 10 in the right direction that are height of the player. Um, and uh, that's, uh, if you can't think how this looks, it looks like this. So these are the sensors. Again, this is only that you can see them is only for testing purposes, so I can debug my code. <laughs> um, but these are the players, uh, the sensors that are in the height of the player, and these are the floor sensors. And um, next thing is there's a sensor timer, and it's hitting very often, you know, every 0 0.05 seconds, and uh, when it's uh, executing then first thing is it checks the sensors so um, again this is only for debugging and um, the regular thing is it checks if the player is on the floor because if the player isn't on the floor we are not interested in pits if he's jumping we don't want to know about pits maybe that will change later but right now is it's a good thing so if it, he's not on the floor, uh, the next pit is a thousand pixels away. We're not interested in it. Um, if he's on the floor, we are checking the sensor array um, of the floor sensors if for the next sensor that hasn't any collision. So if it doesn't have a colli collision, there is no ground at this position. And we want to have this um, information and we call it next pit. And we're doing the same thing for the wall, but we are checking the mid sensors and um, we are checking for the first that has a collision. And this is our next wall. So um, this is the function that does this. It just runs through all sensors in the array. They are sorted in a way that the sensors that are next to the player are come first in the array. So as soon as we get uh, overlapping, overlapping bodies that um, are at the at the right position, um, we can uh, return from this function because we've found something that collides. Or in the other way, if you, we are not looking for something that collides, we can exit here. And if we don't find anything, if the loop runs completely through and it doesn't find anything, uh, we return again 1000 because 1000 was a safe way to say, oh, next pit or next wall is so far away, we don't, we're not interested in it. Um, so again, for testing purposes, I color these sensors. I um, change the modulate so that uh, the polygon on it will uh, have this color. So if it hits something, we color it red, and we if it doesn't hit something, we color it green. And um, at the beginning, I um, hide all sensors so that we don't see sensors that we haven't checked. So how does it the C look like in uh, in the game? Again, here are the sensors. Now you can see them, but later in the game you won't. Um, and if I come next to a wall, you hear a sound on the right ear. So maybe you want to see this video with headphones. 
um, and you see at these rectangles that this one is hitting so the next one isn't checked anymore so if I go further to the right the bah sound <laughs> comes out more often so this is just a testing sound I um, created with the microphone um, and this sensor collides so all sensors to the right of it and all sensors after this um, aren't checked anymore so that's the way if I'm not on the I'm off, uh, on the other side of the wall I hear the bass sound from the other ear and the frequency gets up the further I go and the nearer I come to uh, the wall and now we come to the sensors on the ground the dip is from the pits and maybe I should have used the sound pit 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 but <laughs> now it's dip 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 <laughs> um, and uh, so he checks all the sensors until he finds a sensor that do doesn't hit anything that doesn't collide and uh, this is our distance and then we're in the pit <laughs> Um, so how do I do this with the sounds? I um, tried some different kinds um, but I've got um, s these two sounds here for the pit and for the wall and I've got my sensor timer that checks the sensors here at the beginning and after he's checked the sensors um, he tries to play a sound for the pit or for the wall if necessary so before I tried this with two timers but um, this didn't work that well because I changed the interval of the timer um, so the wait time uh, I changed the wait time all the time and that ma made the sounds break in the middle and it doesn't, does, didn't work out so I've got now a fixed timer that runs on every 0 0.05 seconds and um, then I've got these two variables pit interval and uh, wall interval and um, I count them up every time the timer hits and I compare them to to a time um, that um, that tells me how often I want to be caught um, so um, the further away the pit is, the higher is the, the number of the target and the pit uh, uh, interval just increments until it is uh, greater than the target and when it's bigger than the, the target um, then the sound will be played and the interval will be reset to zero so it runs all, all the times around and with this uh, formula um, if a pit is very near, so this would be next pit would be 10 divided by 10 is 1 plus 4 is 5 so um, every 5 chords of this uh, function um, the sound is played which would be uh, 0 0.25 seconds every 0 0.25 seconds um, the sound is played and the bigger this next uh, pit variable gets um, the, the more often the function must execute until the sound is played so the distance be between, between the dip or the bah sounds gets bigger um, it is played at all if um, the next pit is closer than or closer or equal than 100 pixels so it is within the sensors um, and um, it's yeah, played as soon as the target is reached and to um, check if it must be played on the right or on the left ear um, I check if next pit is bigger than zero uh, for these checks I, I take the, the absolute of it so it doesn't matter if it's a minus or a plus uh, value 
but here I check if it's positive. And if it's po positive, uh, it's on the right ear, and if it's negative, it's on the left ear. And I do this via the bus. Um, you can create these um, audio buses. The master is the default bus. And I created a left only and the right only bus, and I used a panner to um, put it on the left or on the right ear. Yes, and that's all. <laughs> so the bus decides which ear, then the sound is played, and then we wait for the next uh, loop where uh, it can be played. Um, I put the current prototype on itch.io, so I will link it in the video. Uh, if you want to check it out, uh, feel free so, and you can play around a little bit with it. Okay, bye!